Help wanted signs are the new window accessory for businesses all across the country. But why aren't some Americans getting back to work? It's the million dollar question. Matt Gregory verifies. Our experts pointed out it's really simple to look at the numbers and say, well, people just don't want to work. But that is not only oversimplifying a complex issue. In many cases, our experts say it's wrong. According to the Federal Reserve, 9.6 million Americans are out of work. And at the same time, employers have 9.3 million openings. It's led some to say people are unemployed because they just don't want to work. Is that true? There are very large amounts of job openings and there are uh, a very large number of people who, who are unemployed. And the pace of, of uh, filling those jobs is somehow feels slower than it might be. To figure it out, we went to the experts. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell, Heidi Sherholtz, an economist from the Economic Policy Institute, and Ben Giddes, an economist from the Bipartisan Policy Center. This month, Fed Chief Jerome Powell pointed out the mismatch of unemployed workers and openings has several factors behind it. Number one, the largest group of unemployed workers are back to work. People just getting temporarily laid off. Their businesses said, when we can come back online, we'll bring you right back. And that is what many businesses did. Another factor, fear of the pandemic. 2.8 million people say they are not working because they remain afraid of COVID-19, of getting it and spreading it. Each of our experts explained what's left over are unemployed workers looking at new jobs. And it's not as simple as just taking the first job available. So it takes time for people to find, to develop new skills to um, you know, find search and find a new job that's appropriate for them. And one factor all of our experts pointed to is people who had to leave the workforce because of childcare issues. Daycares are still largely shut, so even if people wanna work, they don't have anyone to look after their kids. Now, another factor people point to is those extra pandemic unemployment benefits. But don't forget, they're either going away or already gone. A dozen states have already ended those, and 14 more will do that by the end of July. But like our experts say, all of these factors play into the larger employment issues. It's never as simple as people don't want to work. With Verify, I'm Matt Gregory. Now, if there's anything you'd like us to verify, send a message to our email, verify at 12newsnow.com, or message us on social media.